cubic curve in real time. A, a, a workstation that meets the processing and networking requirements of the marketplace.
and my microphone was muted that whole time. So great. Jeez, uh, Pete. I always do that at the beginning. I always forget to unmute my microphone. But anyways, what I was going to say is that uh, I got held up at work a little bit. So I apologize for starting a little bit later than usual. But so now we're going to try something different. We're going to play uh, some racing games. Uh, those of you who have been following me on social media know that uh, I'm trying to experiment with some new stuff. And I put out a poll out there to see if anybody wanted to play some racing games, if anybody wanted to watch that. And uh, y'all said, yeah, sure, why not? Um, actually, 90% of votes were, uh, were for yes. So, shocking, I know. It's kind of weird, but um, pretty cool, though. All right, hopefully that desktop audio is coming through. Looks like we're good to go. There we go. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Get in there, Lewis. It's F1 2019. Hang on what we're starting off with at least so i don't know how many people uh enjoy f1 2019 but uh this is the only game i have on pc that uh i can use the wheel with so let me actually get this webcam all dialed in because i am all crooked Hopefully nobody said anything in Facebook because uh, I accidentally had the, the stream chat set to just Twitch. So now I'm seeing everybody. But um, since this is a new whole setup here, you'll probably see some wobbling tonight. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing really I can do about that because the wheel is attached to the desk. But uh, yeah, so as the stream implies, uh, this is an a NASCAR fan plays an F1 game. So we're going to see some interesting stuff. Um, and I'm going to try and warm up first because I haven't played all day and I just got home. So um, pick the Toro Rosso. Um, I'm going to try a different Grand Prix or Grand Prix as the... Uh, Everybody internationally says, but we'll do the uh, the ceremonial cracking of the monster to start off. I'll bust my fingernails. Always have one of these. Good luck charm for any of my streams. All right. Take a few seconds here to get adjusted in my seat. Get my pedals all squared away. Probably gonna try and get this microphone to not be in my way so that I don't end up accidentally smacking it. So I'm just gonna do a couple warm up laps here. I just wanna uh, just to get used to this again because I was playing some last night and uh, just wanted to make sure that I can actually drive this freaking thing so we'll start off with flying lap manual transmission here we go Shift points are always really weird on F1 cars because they're so freaking powerful. Already had a lockup, and there's why we do the warm up. <laughs> I 
Like I said, that's why we do the warm up. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. I'd say the hardest thing about these F1 cars in this game is not locking up the brakes. And remembering DRS. First corner, I swear, those high high speed braking zones are always more difficult than uh, the rest of the zones on the track for sure. It's like I'm on ice. Main thing is getting in a rhythm. It's always what takes the longest. Realize the chat box is hidden. Sorry, guys. Gosh, always getting on the brakes too early, or the gas too early. I really do like Australia as a track, though. I feel like it's got uh, a lot of character that is kind of subtle. I'm sure giving it a lot of character, that's for sure. Stewards are going to have a heck of a time replacing those walls.
Oh, shoot. Corner is so hard to get right. You're just going so fast, and you don't want to hit anything. Just in the wrong gear right through that corner. Hey, we got it. Made it to the corner. Without nosing to the wall. Missed the apex on that one for sure. We're getting better. Making progress. Whoop. So I double click my downshift. Holy crap. Nope, 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 nope. All right. I think we're ready for a race, though. How about that, huh? I'm afraid all of my drinks are going to spill all over my desk with how much this crap is moving. <laughs> all right. Let's get us into a race against the AI, and then we'll, uh, we'll maybe hop online and... Uh, test out our skills there so I definitely want to do a excuse me definitely want to do a Grand Prix first hmm I like Joe a little bit better than Kimi Raikkonen so we'll do that hmm I know last time when I was racing last night I did a too short of a race so I think I'm going to dial down the difficulty just to 35. I know that's technically easy, but I'm also dealing with quite a bit of stuff stacked against me being a new racer. Um, and uh, having no assists whatsoever. One thing I want to make sure... Oh yeah, I want to make sure vehicle damage is off, because if not, I'm gonna make it not going to make it past the first corner without wing damage. So... We'll do that, huh? Australian GP. Oh man, gosh, 
I think I've said it before, but they changed monster to zero sugar instead of uh, absolutely zero. And it's Let's just not the same. The it's order. not, I but swear. It's race. like when, oh no, it's raining. <laughs> no, oh no. Oh my gosh. I forgot to turn off the weather. <laughs> Do we want to try this or just, oh my gosh. This is my worst nightmare. All right. Uh, so we're going to go over to car setup. Can we do that? Okay, there we go. Maximum downforce. Hopefully we've got wet tires on and not intermediates. But, oh my gosh. All right, if this doesn't work, don't be surprised if I just back out and start another race because I'm not about to do this. Oh, come on, dude. Still drinking. Wow. They're already, like, so far ahead of me. Ah, I can't see. Forgot to switch my scene, too. Oh, my gosh. This is what driving on the highway in the rain looks like, except it's at 150 miles an hour. I got 15 laps of this, too. I cannot see a thing. Ah! I was so scared I forgot to shift. Sorry, buddy. I knocked him out of the way. Yep, I know. Collision with Russell. Doesn't matter. Good lord. Ah! All right, uh, can't handle that right now. That's a little too intense. Uh, sorry from session. I think something I'm gonna do too is lower my monitor just a little bit. So if you all see. That's a fantastic performance from Ferrari. It hardly looked in doubt. Terrible performance from the Alfa Romeo, driven by the rookie driver who can't drive in wet. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day? I don't care. Let's get back to a dry track, please. Oh gosh, monster makes me burp like crazy. I can't drive in wet. It's unbelievably difficult. It is so hard, even when with wet tires. Okay, so we will go to weather and time of day. Clear, please. I don't think I can handle that. Uh, we'll do midday start time. That all looks good to me. 25% of laps, so that's 15 laps. All right, cool. Yeah, let's, uh, round two. <laughs> oh, man. I always forget that, that you can change the weather settings. It's time to... Right. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into one. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. So we'll choose increase down for it. I think I might choose maximum down for it just to make sure that I have a little bit more grip than usual because we still struggled with getting off of corners. That's my difficulty is getting off of corners.
bad start, but don't overreact. Don't tell me that was a bad start. For me, that was a great start. Going for the move here. Let me make some sort of progress. I didn't think that move would work. Shoot. Ah. You know what? Let's uh, use our flashback for that one. Okay. Uh, so I want to get... Mechanical failure. Okay, clear. Treasure. Treasure. You're a zerk. Thank you so much. Sorry, I probably mis mispronounced your name. I'm great, man. How are you? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I actually tested out my new uh, alert sound. Too. Thanks, you playing with all assists off? Yes, I am, sir. No assists for this guy. The battery is low on energy. Reduce ERS deployment. Yeah, a little bit. Trying to. It's the first night with a wheel, so... Yeah, it's extremely hard with the assist off. Uh, especially exiting corners, it's very difficult not to uh, let the back end just slip out from under you. All right, we need to turn off DRS. We need to harvest some of that energy so we can actually use it later. We also need to get past Gasly here. He's been holding us up forever. Where am I from? I'm from, well, originally from Cincinnati, Ohio, but I uh, live in Arizona now, so. Yeah, originally from Ohio, so. Oh, how did I not get DRS? Come on. Thought it was within one second. He's like right on me. There he goes. Oh my gosh. 
There we go. We went around. Gotta have flashback for that. Yeah, wheel. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but it's extremely hard. Pedals aren't uh, aren't fantastic, but we're uh, we're making it work. So, yeah, it is uh, flat out impossible to pass an F1 on some of these tracks. So I may go to a different track after this one. Um, I just inherited a Logitech Driving Force GT wheel. I think it's about 10 years old at this point. All right, here we go. Make a, maybe make a move here. Ow. It's really, really hard driving and focusing on your line when you're trying to avoid other cars. Like that, right there, that was terrible. We have DRS. Got blocked to the outside. What's Kapitza doing all the way up here? Oh, come on. Uh, so the difficulty is insultingly low. Uh, it's at 35 right now out of 100. So that is technically classified as easy. So it is not, uh, not too difficult, but I'm learning. So it's way more difficult for me. Cooper Weber, what's up, man? How you doing? Nice work. That brings you up the place. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Playing on 95? Dude, you're a legend. It's 60 points higher than me. This off of the G29. That's a good wheel. Oh gosh, ran wide. These guys probably get so frustrated with me behind me. I'm over revving the engine. I'm all thrown off my game. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the hearts. Come on, man. I was there. Battery charge is high. Let's increase oh, yeah, we have ERS now. A little lockup never hurt anybody. Rainbow, thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, I was there was a generous statement for the move. I agree. I don't have, uh, I didn't necessarily have the position on him, but I just was mad that he freaking cut me off and defend the, defended the position. Shoot, ran wide. Oh, that's our teammate there.
Oh boy, this is gonna be tough getting in here. Thanks for the like, bud. <laughs> Took my eyes off the stream there for a second. Thanks for the like, Jimmy. I appreciate that. We're gonna flash back here because uh, I lost my focus there for a second. Just nailed Raikkonen in the back. Hard part is the AI wants to break through that section when you can really go flat out. And then everybody's got DRS, so I can't even get an advantage here. Be aware we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Do I want some cookies? Sure. What do you think, guys? Are we ready to go online and play MLG? Racing the eSports competition? We want to pit this lap, so push now. Oh, no, I changed view. No. Yep, eSports ready, babe. There we go. Ah! <laughs> I gotta get back to my view. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, I'm gonna try to say his name and I apologize. I'm gonna screw it up. Was it Z Forcer? Vega Visor? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I'm looking at chat, trying to chat and racing. Here we go. All right, we got it. We got it. Here's a push more. Uh, Sebastian Vettel in 15th place. What is he doing? Five second penalty. Holy crap. In this lap and remember the speed yep, I know. You told me once. If we exceed it. Keep that in mind as you approach. Yeah, I'll be playing songs in between. Taking requests now. I am Jay. Thank you for the follow. I hope I said that right. I can't tell if that's Jay or Nell afterwards. Appreciate that, man. Dang, chat's blowing up tonight. I appreciate it, guys. This is completely abnormal for me, so I appreciate it so much. Appreciate you guys tuning up. Tuning up, tuning in. The car behind has boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire. I was supposed to pit that lap. Yeah, everybody save your follows for the chicane so I get distracted and then colossally crash. Guys, seriously, thank you so much for the follows. I really appreciate it. If I'm honest, it was a terrible day at work, so I'm really glad that uh, everybody's tuning in and watching. The car ahead is coming to Definitely put a smile on my face. Car ahead, now running medium How do I know there, guys? Uh, guys and gals, people. Aliens, Martians, whatever you guys are watching, I don't care. Thank you so much. I need to get this off the screen. Get off the screen. Whatever. Stop. Get off my screen. Oh, Lord. this lap I, I've noticed that it doesn't matter what speed you go into the pits if you go into the pits it's gonna automatically correct your speed anyway so I should hook up that keyboard and put some like mini MIDI sounds or soundboard on it probably do that pretty well All right, here we go. New lap, new me. New tires, new me. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. It's always weird going for the pit out though, because it always like auto corrects you.
Oh, sorry. <laughs> Well, oh well. Yeah, team decided to put on hearts. I wasn't paying attention and I couldn't change it. At least we have a clean track to put down some fast laps though. Yeah, <laughs> am I a Ferrari driver? I think the problem is too is I'm over braking for a lot of these corners and I'm trying to compensate by accelerating faster than uh, I need to out of the corner. Shoot, got on the grass there. I like how I was like, yeah, got a clean track. I can uh, now focus on my laps. And uh, then I put it straight into the wall. That was close. Almost snapped it back into the wall. Look at that lap. Nine seconds off my fastest lap. Get in there, Lewis. When do I get to say Bono my tires are gone? We have five laps of fuel remaining. Woo! Too much curb there. Increase ERS deployment. It's time to use some of this charge. Lockups are so hard to avoid when you don't have assists on. Blue flag. <laughs> Got completely nailed by the leader. Oh gosh. Blue flag conditions creating. Yeah, I know it's blue flag. I'm trying to get out of the way. Ooh, Charles Leclerc is not gonna be happy with me for that. what I need just somebody to chase
Well, at least I'm not last, guys, huh? It's 19th out of 20. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, we're still getting beat by a Williams car, but... And we cut that corner horridly. Oh, gosh. I cursed myself. Blue flag, blue flag. Yep, I know. It's always blue flag. Oh, hey, Roman Grosjean wrecked. Surprise, surprise. And the leaders are right behind me. We're not racing the car behind. Let them pass when you can. Then tell them to get by me if they're faster. Go! Yeah, Lando Norris had a blow up on like the first lap, so. Dang it! Come on, get just get past the finish line. I just want this to be over. Blue flag. Yeah, also definitely the reading. Yeah. Yeah, trail breaking just Oh my gosh guys. I just want to finish this race. Blue flag conditions. Create a gap and let the car behind through. I just screwed up so many people's finishes. FIA would have my head. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Eighteenth. Brought it home, ladies and gentlemen. Get in there, Lewis. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the. So Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver? Oh boy. That was garbage. Hot garbage. Yeah, a lot of the reading, I think, is what's throwing me off. <laughs> I, uh, I like, can't not read chat. I, I like reading chat if I can. Um, it's just uh, never had this many people in chat before, if I'm honest. So it's uh, distracting in a good way. And I'm sure a lot of people are not going to tune back in because I suck. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll move on. We'll uh, hop on a Red Bull. Yeah, there we go. I was playing Monzi yesterday. That was probably the track that I was best at. Make sure the weather is not going to be clear or uh, rainy. Because that's... Uh, that's what will really kill you. Is the rain? That's uh, that's what I tried to do starting out, but boy. Welcome to Monza, where the crowd are ready for today's action, and we hope you're ready to see the world's best drivers fighting it out for that number one spot. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. The Italian Grand Prix. Monza, We're 12 miles northeast of Malibu, corner number one is certified a death Monza certificate. Circuit, where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 
11 corners on this 3.6 mile track, with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes. And with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. It's just about time to go to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, Anthony Davidson, what types of strategy do you think we can expect for today's event? Well, there's a lot that both the driver and the team have to keep in mind when going into a race. Uh, Tires, this fuel, game? Energy recovery. It's time well, let me to get take past the screen so we can get past all the annoying talking so they don't talk over me. Uh, I have had this game video, for probably a month and a half or two or something like that. So to show my age here, the last F1 game that I ever played was F1 2001. That was back... Was it 2001? Yeah, it was 2001. Yeah, it was It was back when the years actually lined up with the game, um, kind of like F1 2019 does. Um, and it was like back at Michael Schumacher, Rolf Schumacher, Juan Pablo Montoya was in that one. You know, everybody basically from the 2001 era. So that was the last one that I experienced with. Um, and then this one, you know, I just picked up because uh, I've kind of reinvigorated my fandom of um, – um, F1 due to Drive to Survive, which is, bruh, if y'all haven't seen that, go watch it because it's freaking amazing. Um, I love it. It's a great documentary series. Um, <laughs> careful, man, I'm a huge NASCAR fan, but after racing on this game seriously with a wheel, it's starting to take me. Yeah, it's, uh, it is, um, it is so much different. Um, like nothing against NASCAR, but I just there's just something about this game that really um, is 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 fun. Oh my gosh, I'm starting fourth. So if I can like speak to the game, Jesus, oh, Pete, here we go. Gotta survive this death wish. Um, good lord. Who do we not have contact with there? Um, it's it's pretty good. I'll say that handling's a little floaty, if I'm honest. Controller or game or uh, wheel. And um, it's very difficult to actually get off the corners. I think that's the thing I struggle with the most. Not the start we were looking for, but it's not over yet. Stay focused. definitely a lot different than NASCAR that's for sure um, obviously iRacing kind of takes the cake when it comes to simulations but it's a, it's a subscription based model and it's not the most user friendly and has a humongous learning curve whoa holy crap it's running me in the grass Gosh, you can really tell when you're you're not using your uh, ERS. Yeah, I would I would absolutely agree with that. That it's a it's an excellent way to kind of dip your toe into like real racing games. I think something too that's an adjustment is the uh, gear ratios. Because boy, it is uh, very difficult. I forgot to switch the scene there, sorry guys. I did like what they did with the, the uh, career mode. 
Um, I wish it was a little bit more fleshed out, but... Gosh, saving this ERS is so difficult okay, at the beginning. Pete's, dude. This, it's so hard to judge these guys, how they're breaking. Okay, good work. You almost have to dive bomb everybody to get by them. What is this guy's ERS setting? These guys are outrunning me on the straights. Dang it. We're running in excess of fuel. We can turn up the engine to mix mode three if you need it. Turn fuel to rich. Yep, let's do that. Holy crap, that was a late move. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Let's flash back on that one. Oh, no. Crap. It's so hard because, like, you want to sweep around the outside of them. But um, you just can't. Sometimes. It was just too close. I, I wanted to get that slipstream and then pull out at the last second so that I could get hooked on the apex. But, um, yeah. Need a sip of my monster to refuel. Yeah, the career mode really focuses mostly on the team, uh, as opposed to like the car and whatnot. Um, but it's still pretty cool. I, I hope that they flesh it out a little bit more in F1 2020. I think that that would be pretty cool to get some sort of uh, developed career mode where you have your actual driver and you know I and they had sort of like quasi dialogue options and whatnot, but. Um, uh, it was okay. It, it, it's, it, it kind of just devolves into you just racing, um, which is not terrible, but is, is also not super fun. Uh, standard error setup. I'm actually, um, I think I'm either standard or the, um, gosh, the, um, the one with higher downforce, not highest, but higher down downforce. Yeah, I feel like uh, I was just—I wasn't brave enough to get anything lower than like the the uh, middle or second to the left. Gosh, they get such poor exits. Jeez. 
Jeez. There's goes Carl Sai just sending it, man. Look at that. Did I, did I send it or did I did it not send it? I think that's the line that Carlos says. Jeez, Bates. Dang it. A new strategy is available on the MFT. Yeah, I think the the big thing is the the packs stay so tight. So like, going for a move is just you're just gonna have to go for it. Especially here, everybody just kind of stays single file. Maybe if the difficulty was higher, it might be different. But no, 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 no. driving here. So you have to like kill it on, on entry. Let's see if I can cut cut up the inside. There we go. Shipped a little too early there, but It's so hard too, like when a pack is this close, because anytime there's any sort of uh, like log jam, you have to slam on the brakes and it loses everybody time. I remembered what happened in the last race. I'm switching to soft tires instead of hard tires. 
Got a terrible exit there, though. Oh, gosh. Come on, Carlos. Okay, need some energy harvesting. Reduce ERS deployment. I guess we'll put on mediums. Yeah, you're right. I'm wrong. Remember, box this lap. Keep an eye on your distance to the speed limit line as you approach, and make sure you don't speed. See how much better I was able to get through there? Because the freaking AI wasn't in front of me. I don't think it'll give me a penalty if I rush in here like this. See? Nothing. <laughs> Let's uh, take back the downforce a little bit, too. It's right behind Hulkenberg. I don't know what strategy these other guys are on, but... Where's the pit lane gonna tires. end now? That's the that's the thing. Chisel Pete's oh my gosh, look where it puts you. It's like auto drive until that point. It's so frustrating doing that. Gonna catch the leaders probably. Yeah, the pit exit is probably the worst one of the worst flaws in this game is having to, to deal with that. Just trying to build up some ERS so I can use it there's Hulkenberg we got past him he was in front of us I'm pretty sure I just have to keep my position Oh, gosh. We're definitely gaining through the corners. It's the straights that we're losing. Okay, you're catching the car ahead, but remember we need to get to the end of the race on these tires. Okay, 
need some information on signs. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. Slam, slam, stroll, he'll no challenge. We have two laps of fuel remaining. I'm gonna have to dial back the engine a little bit so I don't lose out on fuel. Wow, we were actually fastest through sector two. That's unbelievable. Is that Paris? Yeah. This is your final lap. Final uh, lap turn race. it up to hot lap. Turn the fuel mixture to rich. Keep that up just in case we need to dial it back a little bit. Gosh, no. All right, it's flashback time. It's morphin' time. All right, we'll go back to the section where we're flat out and try that section again. That's your cane always gets me. Yeah, see, even with DRS, I don't have the chance. God, I could feel the car coming around. I could feel it getting light during the uh, chicane there. All right. Go for it again. Same move. We get. That's the end of the race. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't even pay attention to this. Hey, top five. And NASCAR, that's a uh, that's not a bad finish at all. 
but uh, I know F1, you're, you're working for podiums, but hey, we uh, we got it. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to... my lamp on. How did they manage to achieve this win? Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was. And we only started, what, second or fourth or something like that? In reality, that was uh, complete garbage, but... Uh, after an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, yeah, yeah it wasn't too bad. Of not not too bad for now. like my Let's second night racing on a wheel. Lance Stroll is a contender for driver of the day. Well, Lance Stroll would be my pick. He managed Lance to get Stroll, the I passed that chump. Through the field. Well, Lance, an end to another fantastic what weekend a chump. of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined. Silver Spoon, Stroll. All right. Um. Where should I go next? <laughs> That's the question. Where should uh, should we race? I'm gonna race as all Hulk. I like Nico Hulkenberg. He's a uh, he's a pretty good driver. Freaking Streamlabs, freaking sucks. Make my own guy? I um, I do have a guy, but he looks nothing like me. I guess I can show that to everybody. Uh, he's just one of the generic character models. Can you race? Yeah, F for Nico. Dude, seriously, look, honestly, I think the guy has just never raced for a top team. I know he raced for Force India there for a while, and Force India was actually pretty decent. Um, but yeah, it just sucks. It just sucks for him. He got kicked out. Yeah. See, look, look at him. All right. There's me. Let me look at that. There's me. And there's him. Because apparently no F1 drivers have large beards. So I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Looks like a world champ. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Give me a few more weeks at this wheel and we might be world champs. Might have to uh, play in the uh, F1 virtual GPs. Ah, it's always awkward having to adjust this freaking thing. There we go. He did win Le Mans. Yeah, a lot of people don't like to acknowledge that, but he, uh, he won Le Mans. Which is not easy. Yeah, I would agree. I uh, I like him. Drive to Survive like really shined a spotlight on him, and like the second seasons especially, I was like, this guy is like a cool dude. And then um, and then they just let him go. So I I don't, I mean, he all but had a podium for Germany, and that was in the wet. Um, let's go to China, by the way. I like China. Shoot, no, no, no. Can I race like my dude, my my custom car, or can I can I not do that in a Grand Prix? Do I have to race them? I've never tried it before, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, Nico. Yeah, Germany, Hockenheim. Was that uh, turn 10 and 11? Or turn 11? I can't remember which turn that was. He wrecked on. Oh, we could do Spa. We could do uh, the treacherous Eau Rouge. Let's do that. I haven't practiced here. Or played here. I played here a little bit yesterday. But we'll probably have to dial up the downforce. Because I don't think we really... I don't think I had enough downforce yesterday. I, don't, I think I had too much down for us. There we go. Okay, all the settings look fine to me. Again, adjust that weather so it's not raining because uh, your boy ain't ready for that. There we go. There we go. I kind of like having my hair with that product in it. I think it feels nicer. Without the product. It's so 
I know, but y'all probably don't care. But <laughs> just one day, I just woke up lazily and was like, hey, I, uh, I don't want to put product in my hair. And I was like, oh, man. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. The only place, like, it doesn't look great is, like, my hairline, like, right here. But. All right. Let's get Nico that podium. That's our goal for tonight. Nico Hulkenberg on the podium. Okay, remember to break early for turn one, as the pack's going to bunch up. There's plenty of runoff if things get too close. So we'll do increase top speed, because I'm not brave enough to go to one of those top two settings. Uh, but we'll do that. Banshee2x, by the way, I forgot to uh, thank you for hosting. I appreciate that. That popped up 30 minutes ago, and I just now saw it, so I apologize for that. But thank you so much. I don't think I've ever been hosted before. Yeah, this is going to be fun. All right, I'm going to let off here. I know I'm a chump, but I just didn't feel good. Oh, gosh. Lando, come on. It's so weird dialing in the difficulty because, like, the AI is good in some areas, but, like, terrible in others. You know, you'd expect them to kind of be consistent all the way around, but, oh, gosh. Push Lance through this freaking corner. Okay, we're through the start. Now let's build on it. All right, the, I tried to switch over back to the other side. Let's uh, just restart this race. Try to switch back over to the other side with uh, old Danny Rick okay, and um, to break early didn't work. Turn one, as the pack's gonna bunch up. There's plenty of runoff if things get too close. All right. Oh, good lord. Big old gaggle of cars here. Let's see if we can get through here. Oh, jeez! Oh, Baldo Norris there. You guys seen Lando shaved his head? Oh my gosh, Lance, come on. Really hoping for the die job. Yeah, that would have been nice. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Dang it. All right, let's dial it back here. Let's uh, let's let's start that over. if you already put it up with so much of the internet crap yeah yeah Lando's uh, 
I've watched some of his streams before. They are pretty chaotic. Did not lock up the brakes there. Did y'all see that? Might as well quit now. Having trouble talking in game. Um, not sure. Just make sure that your audio devices are set up properly. Holy crap, got through there. Nice. Come on. Brilliant. Nice move. Jeez, Pete's. Yeah, the main thing that's screwing me up right now is having all these other cars on track, if I'm honest. It's just so hard to run your line when you have people just hounding you. This is going to be so difficult with another car in front of me. Because he's going to slow down at the top. Alright, we'll turn it up to overtake, so hopefully we can uh, get up there. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with the audio, man. It sucks. Uh, I know that, like, I had to change some settings uh, within the game to get my audio to work properly and actually hear people talk. So I can go around the outside, probably not. Nope. That's racing. I don't even know what I said. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I get what I was referencing. Yeah. How many cars are on track? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> Flashback day. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can... I think what, yeah, I think what really messed me up was having my exit on this corner. It was terrible. It's like that clerk's quote, um, this job wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the customers. Ooh, that was tight. So, I know we said we were going for a podium for Hulkenberg, but, uh, hold on. Let me make sure I make it through this corner first. <laughs> but, uh, we might be able to go for a win here, guys.
Oh gosh, didn't slow down enough, dang it. Oh no. Dang it. Throttle too early. Catch a just a nibble of that strip slipstream there. Some of that DRS. Great work. That's a new fastest lap for the race. Got a terrible exit there, but it might actually play in our favor. Because then we can get up through here a lot quicker. Dial this up to overtake. sloppy ah sorry buddy sorry 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 you know this wouldn't be so bad if you just let me through yeah I'm sure you guys saw the desk wobbling all over the place Shifted a little too early. I got a fly in my face. Get off my steering wheel. Well, oh, braked way too early on that one. Box, box. We're coming in this lap. Broke too early on that one, too. No. <laughs> yeah, break, break way too early instead of freaking purple sector. It's Nico Hulkenberg, man. This, that section was terrible. That was so slow. Might as well stop now. Our tire data is looking positive so far. We think there's plenty of life left in these for the moment. And you know it. 
I drove in full speed on the last one and no penalty. All right, we're going on mediums. Oh boy, almost hit the end of that pit wall. Finish the monster. Exit, exit now. All right. I think we're going to come out of the straight, aren't we? So keep the throttle held down. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you're going to fly. The track. I cannot get through that corner. Like, great at all. I think the thing that's rough too is memorizing all the gear changes. What works best for what corner. So I'm trying to go off the suggestions below, but some of them I feel like aren't right gap to car in front is 4.2 seconds seconds. This section, Eau Rouge, is so much easier on a wheel, I'll tell you that. Good lord. Like, trying to play that on a controller is, like, mind-numbingly hard. Cookies! Thank you. My amazing wife, everybody. We have five oh, left. no! <laughs> alright, alright. Forget that happened. Wipe that from your memory. It's gone. It's so hard to be patient on the throttle on this corner. David Lam Lambropoulos? Sorry, I probably butchered your name, but thank you for liking the stream. Oh gosh. I would go flat out through there, but man, it is risky. Yeah, so uh, before yesterday, I played this game on a controller for like two months.
and it was it was the worst. Daniel's in the pits. I don't care what Daniel's doing. I only care about me. This game's hard enough as it is, but playing it on the controller is ridiculously hard. Like, trying to get out of a corner with an analog stick is freaking stupid. Like, controlling your throttle and your gas at the same... Or, <laughs> your throttle and your gas. Your throttle and your cornering at the same time is uh, really, really hard to try and smoothly get out of an exit of a corner. More than likely, you're going to end up in the wall. And it's going to be the inside wall because you friggin' sponge straight into it. Or you overcorrected and you turned into the outside wall. Battery charge is high. Let's increase ERS. Oh, the what? I should have just grinded up against that wall. Come on now. Yeah, Sector 2 on this track, I cannot understand. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. How is that the fastest lap? I don't understand. There it goes. Yep. Rip. It's so difficult. You have to like enter low. The car gets so light. Freaking fly. Get out of my hair. That corner right there, I can never get it right. We've only got two laps of fuel left. If this is a really have so many heart attacks tonight, yeah. I'd be dead so many times over. Oh gosh, no. Last death in Formula One, I believe, was 2015 with Joe Bianchi. Crash into a safety vehicle. I believe it was like a big digger that was used to uh, get a uh, get like cars unstuck. Smash right in the back of it. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. It's kind of what brought on the halo for uh, F1 cars and Indy cars. Is Justin Wilson, uh, a few years before that, actually got hit in the head with a nose cone from a Indy car that was wrecked. Um, flew up, hit him directly on the noggin, killed him. Unbelievable. Freak, total freak accident.
no grip through that corner. Yeah, buddy. Fantastic. We won. You've won the Grand Prix. We did it. Nico Hulkenberg, you're rewarded. Long years of waiting for your podium. How about a podium? How about a win? Yeah, really tragic considering there's a history of cars nearly hitting tractors at the corner of Suzuka. Yeah. It was really sad. Just a, uh, just not a good situation. We saw it all today, and it's really nice to see a Grand Prix won in that manner. A race, surely, that will satisfy the purists today, I think. As today's winners make their way up the podium steps, the team at Renault have shown once again what it takes to build a successful Formula One team. <laughs> a well-deserved oh win for them. This is so ironic for, uh, for these guys. There we go. There you go, Nico. Let's focus on the driver. That's for you. Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Nico Hulkenberg did an excellent job out on the track right. today. He played aggressively and knew exactly when to capitalize on openings throughout the race. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us. Came from we'll eighth on the, the grid to go up to first. That was awesome. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you watching. Uh, I think I'm going to end the stream actually right now, so you have good timing. But uh, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, man. Look to see you back sometime. It's fun chatting with you. Okay. Well, that was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to end it right there. It's been about two hours, and I'm exhausted, and I have to pee. So, and I'm, I'm so sweaty. You have no idea. Like, my armpits are so sweaty, and my hands are so sweaty. So, I'm sure that's TMI for all you guys. But um, for everyone who tuned in, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, it was really cool having the chat light up tonight. That was just, it was so cool. Um, granted, it caused a lot of accidents because I kept getting distracted with all the chat messages that were coming in. But, um, yeah, it, it was it was awesome. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So um, you can come back then, typically in the evenings in uh, Arizona time, I believe. Um, or Eastern time as well. Check the links in the description for all, uh, all social media and whatnot. You can follow me there. Typically update there if I'm going live sometime. Um, so you'll know there. Uh, what else? I think that might be it. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been really awesome. Um, don't know what the next game is, but we'll be back Thursday with, uh, with more streaming action. So uh, thank you guys so much, and y'all have a great evening. Take it easy. Stay safe. Wash your hands, please.